Hello everyone, this is my first video. I am going to start with NCRT class 12 biology chapter 1 reproduction in organisms. Shall we move on to the lesson? What is reproduction? Normally we say that reproduction helps in producing the young ones. Right? So reproduction, it is a biological process in which an organism produces its young ones. Okay? So reproduction It's a biological process in which an organism produces its young ones. So what are the young ones referred to here? We call it as offspring or we use the term progeny. Right? So reproduction is a biological process in which an organism produces its offspring. So what are offspring? Young ones. Similar to itself. Yes, and it also enables the continuity of the species. How? From generation to generation, from parents to the offspring, from first generation to second generation. So what helps in transmitting the characters from one generation to other generation? Genes. Right? So here, it helps in producing its offspring or offspring is called as again progeny or the young ones which is similar to itself. So it helps in enabling the continuity of the species. How? This offspring again it grows, it develops, it matures and produces its offspring. So the growth continues, the development continues, right? So it starts from birth, okay, and then growth, and then death. So what do you use the term lifespan? The period from birth to natural death of an organism. You have to be very clear with the concept here. So use the term lifespan. So what is lifespan? The period from birth to natural death of an organism. So this is called as lifespan. The lifespan varies in all the organisms, right? It is not the same in all the organism. It is entirely different. So what about the lifespan in mango? It is very much shorter when you compare to the people tree. So when you talk about cow, when you talk about cat or rabbit or elephant, the lifespan is not the same in all the individuals okay then what about the death of the organism so from birth till death only you refer to as lifespan so no individual is immortal here 
death of an every individual organism is certainty very good example amoeba single celled organism normally we uh, say right there is no death there is no natural death why the amoeba the parent okay when it undergoes cell division it produces two individuals two daughter cells so there is no natural death in the parent okay now when you talk about similarity whether the offspring how does it look whether it resembles the parent whether it is entirely uh, different from the parent that is the main difference what you have to understand in reproduction okay so here when you talk about the types of reproduction there are two types of reproduction one is sexual reproduction and the other one is asexual reproduction right so here reproduction is divided into sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction so what is the main difference between this sexual reproduction and the sexual asexual reproduction is sexual reproduction both the parents are involved male and the female both are involved or to understand in a better way sexual sex organs are involved gametes formation male gamete and the female gametes are formed right okay then what about the offspring what about the egg ones they have the characteristic of both the mother and the father they have the combination of both mother and the father but when you look at the children in a family they are different but each individual is unique but still they have the combination of both the mother and the father so here in sexual reproduction both the parents are involved male and the female here only single parent is involved okay as both the parents are involved here you have gamete formation male gamete and the female gametes are formed which results in fertilization as a result of fertilization zygote is formed and the egg one is developed here whereas here only single parent is involved so there is no gamete formation right here example uh very common example you can take coconut or here uh, we talk about uh, amoeba okay common examples any one example will do so this is the main difference between sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction okay now let us move on to asexual reproduction here what about the egg ones that are produced whether they are similar like the parent then what is the term you can substitute here you call that as clone right what is a clone morphologically and genetically similar individual you call it as clone what is a clone morphologically and 
genetically similar individual is called as clone. So the young ones that are produced by asexual reproduction, they are similar to clones because they are exactly similar like the parent. What are the examples? Amoeba, right? So binary fission. So first type of asexual reproduction you can learn about amoeba. What happens in amoeba? The parent when it undergoes cell division here cell division occurs that is the type of asexual reproduction. So when it exactly divides into two how does it divide? So this is the it is irregular in shape right. So this is the nucleus okay and here cytoplasm okay. So the division of nucleus is called as what? Karyokinesis. Kinesis means division, karyon means nucleus. So division of nucleus is called as karyokinesis followed by the division of cytoplasm. What is that cytokinesis? So when it divides, the first the nucleus divides and then followed by the cytoplasm. So two daughter cells are formed. Okay. Two daughter cells are formed. It is irregular in shape. There is no proper shape. It is irregular. So two daughter cells are formed. They are exactly similar like this individual, like this parent. So you call this to be binary fission. Okay, right? And then multiple fission. Multiple fission example is plasmodium. So examples are very important. Plasmodium. And here amoeba. Then uh, you can uh, learn about paramecium. Then leishmania. Many examples are there. Here multiple fission is it divides into many daughter cells. So very good example is plasmodium. And then budding. What is budding? A small de bud develops from the parent hydra or you use the term mother hydra when the small bud and there is an outgrowth formed you call it as bud it develops it matures it enlarges and when it develops into an individual it gets detached from the mother hydra and it leads an independent life. So that is the type of asexual reproduction. Okay then should remember about leaf propagation. For all these you can come under vegetative propagation what you will be learning. So leaf propagation what is the example here? Bryophyllum. So what about bryophyllum? Adventitious buds. Hope you will be familiar with the term adventitious buds. So here a small at the notch leaf notches you can see small outgrowths right. When these outgrowths fall, when they come in contact, what happens here? They develop into an individual. So this type of uh, uh, asexual reproduction is called as vegetative propagation. Where here it takes place in leaves, so you use the term leaf propagation. Right? So when you learn about vegetative propagation, what are the examples you can give? Rose, Jasmine. Okay, and the structures that are developed here vegetative propagation. The asexual reproductive structures, please be clear with the term asexual reproductive structures. So, these structures as they reproduce, 
by a type of asexual reproduction where you use the term vegetative propagation then these structures are called as vegetative propagules vegetative propagules so very common example what are the uh, structures which is developed through asexual type of reproduction yes sucker example chrysanthemum right then rhizome rhizome what is the example ginger then runner example can give grass offset acornia so what is this special about acornia this is otherwise called as water hyacinth or common name is water hyacinth one more thing you have to remember it is normally called as terror of bengal why this is called as terror of bengal this species acornia crassipus it causes severe damage in bengal actually it is an invasive weed it was introduced for its beautiful flowers and the type of leaves so it started propagating very fastly vegetative type of propagation is seen here also so it is normally seen in stagnant water you call it as an invasive weed so this caused severe damage in bengal that is why here you use the term terror of bengal common name is called as water hyacinth okay and then about potato tuber example is potato and about bulb onion so all these are called as vegetative propagules okay and then the main thing what i have to remember about uh, fungi and even some algae the asexual reproductive structures are being formed which is microscopic which is motile in nature some type of structures are called as even zoospores or uh, example you can remember about uh, conidia the spores that are formed penicillium then gemmules right sponges and buds we have learned about hydra so all these are structures which are formed by asexual reproduction so here what you have to understand is asexual reproduction only one parent is involved and it is exactly looking just like a parent so no gamete formation right so here now we have studied what is about reproduction it is a biological process in which an organism produces its offspring similar to itself right and one more thing you have to remember it enables the continuity of the species from one generation to the other generation and again we have learned about life span the period from birth to the natural death of an organism and what is the difference between the sexual reproduction and the asexual reproduction right okay if you like this video share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you